digital crate digging is. I'm gonna tell you right now. Let's go. It's DJ Kirk Stay Stay Thank you. On a short notice, I found this sample on tracklib.com, man, and I couldn't let it up. You know what I'm saying? It's like this joint so crazy. Got little teeny bits and snippets that I'm gonna see what I can do, right? You know how you just hear a little teeny teeny something? That's where we at today. It's DJ so, yeah, man, let's go ahead and uh, let's go class and session. <laughs> so yeah man what I didn't do though even though I chopped it up because I didn't want a whole bunch of situations with no problems with you I don't want no problems with Y-O-U T-U-B-E right Y-O-U Tubby alright Tubi Tube so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and find some drum kits of my own doing real quick you know what I'm saying that I'm gonna add to a kit that I already have in here. All right, Those, a couple of drums I found on a break that I chopped up for y'all. All right, so yeah, 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 man. Let's um, I'm gonna bring it down. Let me see, was 85 a good year or was 87 a good year? You know, let's go with 87 today. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's do that. So, let's do this. I'm going to hit 16 levels. We're going to hit velocity. All right. Random, right? All right, so we're going nice and random today, you know what I'm saying? We're going to call this DRM2 because I already have a little piece of something in here. What the? What the heck? That don't belong, man. <laughs> All right, so let's take this. I don't know how they got replaced. All right, let's go. Put a little reverb on this joint right here. You know what I'm saying? So we just gonna do this real quick, man. This this how we roll. muddy head in there as well we're gonna head that way in the back and we're gonna take off the time code on that too let's go all right let's go
copy this because, or duplicate it, right? I'm gonna do some stuff with this, but hold on.
Let's go. Mike, I missed it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, let's go. <laughs> Everything, let me see. Drum one, drum two, name all. I'm talking about naming all the sequences, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and make another sequence because as you know, make sure you like this video. All right. Like this video, the thumb up, which is free. Everybody like free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up. I appreciate it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see where we at. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and mute some of this, right? I'm going to mute those flips. I'm going to leave that one in there.
Oh, whoa, whoa. See, that's what I'm talking about. What? I wonder what that other piece is. <laughs> Which one is pulling it? <laughs> oh, this is it. right here i'm gonna bounce it real quick all right <clears throat> i'm gonna mute that joint right there go up here to this empty track all right uh, where's my bouncy bounce here it is all right we're gonna lay this on top let's go I'm gonna lay this different. I'm gonna start it with it. Start it with that and then hit this. All over the place. Let's go. Right, man. Come on, come on. We can get it. We can get it. Don't get discouraged when you put in these jumps. <laughs> We're gonna get it. Hold on. Don't fast forward the video. I got a lot to say when this is over. Let's go. There we go.
So we're going to copy this and see if we can make a third one. Also known as my intro outro. Now, usually my intro outro just be like taking out the drums or something. You know what I'm saying? drum in here just to, just to spice it up man so part of the process for me when i get on track lib i'm looking for stuff that i'm pretty sure a lot of people i don't i don't know it doesn't tell you how many people downloaded the sample but i'm looking for something a little bit abstract where i can do whatever i want with it right manipulate it and whatever and something exotic you know kirk state like the eastern europe folk music the the central american folk music the south asian folk music right but when I get on Tracklib, I search for the different genres other than just funk and jazz and stuff like that, right? So I'll go there. This is part of my process. I'll go there and maybe go through 30, 45 minutes worth of downloads, you know what I'm saying? Pick a few, and then I'll, I'll uh, put them in a file folder, right, with the day's date, whatever that is, right? And put it in that file folder so I know... I can go back to these certain days if I didn't use all the samples that I downloaded, right? Because I could get five, I could get seven, I could get 20 samples, right? So I'll put them all in a file, keep it organized. So when I go back to my, if I'm on, if I'm on the NPC, if I'm on Serato or whatever it is, I'm so organized with my files that I can go back there and get stuff that I had on track lib, right? Also, I do the same thing with vinyl. I'll take... If I find some things or whatever, I go to the thrift store, the record store, whatever, pick up some vinyl, I will label it with a date on there of when I downloaded it and recorded it. Because now all the times I'll just go, like I said, I'll go to Tracklib, get stuff, right? Great source. Don't hate on it. This is 2022, whatever, right? Digital age. You don't have to leave the house to create dig no more. Oh, dang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About to knock over certified tapes. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, man, it's that simple. Go to Tracklib. I got the link in the description, man. Just try for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's your man's Kirk State, and, yo, we digital crate digging with Tracklib. Peace, and I'm out, man. <laughs>